Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all oh, lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to stories. I return to sender. All negative energies in me immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay? All blockages and chains put in your path in your life by your enemies are removed. Those, those blockages are removed. Those chains are broken, honey. You are free to be free to be you. Okay? As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, let's go ahead and do our oracle reading or oracle card. Mm -hmm. 29, it says you are highly intuitive and creative. Your mind thinks in pictures and you see and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky. A powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. I am insightful. Okay. Oh, okay. Seeking approval. Rely on your own inner wisdom for validation. Trust yourself. Okay, now. That's for somebody out there. Don't be asking. Don't be looking for uh, acceptance from outside forces. We don't do that over here. You don't need nothing from anyone outside of you to validate you. Okay? You are in charge of your own life, your own path, your own destiny. Okay? Three. Expression comes naturally to you. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits. You are able to get others on board with your ideas. I am charismatic. And that's why you need to stop seeking approval. Use that charis charisma, honey. Use that charisma. Okay, don't be Isma now, but be charismatic. Okay. So for the past couple of nights, I've been having some really interesting dreams. Yeah. Really interesting dreams. In one dream, someone got arrested by the police. This was a feminine energy trying to hide. She did something at work, possibly tried to blame someone for it or tried to get someone caught up in something, and she got locked up. There was also a feminine trying to make her way to another feminist house to pick some type of fight with you, whatever it is. She didn't make it to you. Someone may have ended up in some type of accident. Last night, I had a dream. Someone got set up. If you are a masculine... Honey, this could be a feminine as well. And you carry a backpack with you at work for some reason. You may want to stop carrying that. There's a setup going on for you. Someone is planning, and this is someone you're very familiar with. They're going to come towards you and ask you if you need help with something. If they find you, maybe your car broke down on the side of the road or something. They'll come and ask you, do you need help? Either this is someone you're familiar with, or this is someone that's going to come up as very kind. Okay, a good Samaritan is a setup. You're being watched. You're being monitored. Someone is coming to plant something on you. They're going to drop something in your bag and you go home. They know exactly where you live. You go home, they're going to call the police and report something missing. And they're going to come to your home and search you. And they're going to find that with you. So if you're carrying a backpack around with you, I will be careful. Maybe you need to find a smaller, smaller bag or just carry your wallet with you. Nothing that can carry anything of substance, okay? Besides your money, your IDs, leave everything else at home. This is a warning for someone because you're gonna, you're about to go through some type of betrayal. I don't know who you are, but there's something where in a dream, I saw a masculine. Um, there's something about tools. You work with your hands a lot. So you're someone that uses a lot of tools like uh, drills and uh, uh, honey, don't get me to lie to you about what the names of these tools are, but it was some type of big tools, metal, honey. I don't know what the heck they're called, but if you're someone that works with your hand a lot, someone may accuse you of stealing some type of a, expensive tool, something like that. They're going to call the police and tell them you stole from them. The police is in on the setup, by the way, because what I saw in the dream is that a man approached another one and said, you need help. Let me help you with that. And while he was not looking, that man slid something into his backpack. And when he went home, hey, guess who came knocking at the door? The police. And the police was kind of, there was something off about this man. It said something was wrong with his hands, right? Something was wrong with his hand, one of his hands. 
and he kept trying to arrest someone for stealing something, but the person didn't steal it, right? And the person that reported them for stealing the whatever that was, was standing right there talking about, yeah, that's him, he did it, or that's her, she did it. Um, and they kept trying to arrest someone in their home for something that they had nothing to do with. This could be a feminine that got set up as well. And it got to a point where it said the police was trying to arrest this person unjustly and a family member stepped in and started like, I think like hitting the police officer in the arm with a, a pen or something. And there were like stab wounds and stuff like that. It got crazy. I said, like, what the heck is going on? I gotta get up, uh-uh. But there's some type of setup going on. You all need to be careful. This is a plan by a group of people. This is something they're planning, okay? And it's coming in quickly. So you may want to be cautious of the people that are around you. Maybe now they're disappointed because this plan is being exposed. Either you're a king of cups or something like that. Uh, you need to be mindful of the people that are around you. They're trying to set you up to get you cut up so you can get locked up. I don't know if you're trying to make some type of love offer to someone and your people behind the scenes. They are not happy with that. Yeah, okay, so it's being interfered with. It's not happening because something is being exposed. Something is being exposed. There's a betrayal being planned for you. There's something being planned for you, okay? You're a king of cups. Someone is planning to end you. A group, family, friends, co colleagues. They are planning to do you something to get you locked up because you've chosen a direction to go into that they don't want you going into okay they don't want you going in a specific direction so they're planning to end you okay there's something out here where it's like people are planning to do something to a law if a law official because they're going to be breaking some type of balance into a situation so they're trying to cause this man or woman some type of ending before they take action so you need to be vigilant sir madame whoever you are these people are very desperate behind the scenes to hold on to something, to keep something that does not belong to them. Uh-huh. Either a position, something like that. Okay. But you need to be careful. Whatever you are planning to do, I will move in silence. Whether someone is coming in to give you a position collective, someone is trying to interfere with a partnership that you have coming in. Something is being looked over. Something is being looked over. I don't know what this is, but you all need to be mindful. There are people behind the scenes setting up all kinds of endings for people because there's a lot of money involved. Someone's trying to force their way into your energy. Is how I'm going to get to you one way or another. You're not. You're not meant to. Any action you're taking to force yourself into an earth angel's energy is not going to end well for you. It's not going to. Source is all over this B-I-T-C-H forces all over it okay and you are going through the endings you're going through it's your judgment it's your it's justice in the situation someone is going through either someone went through some type of betrayal or they're about to go through some type of betrayal and this is going to lead to some type of ascension okay something has been brought to the court's uh attention as well about some type of betrayal or lie something fraudulent that took place Honey, it's a whole lot going on and someone is not happy behind the scenes. This could absolutely have to do with a love offer. Someone may want to come towards a feminine energy or this could be a masculine energy. Someone could want to come towards you and give you an offer, but his family, his friends, colleagues, or something have been in his head for a long time. And now he does not care what they're saying he may have been choosing to come towards you but he has to kind of fall back or something because something malicious is being planned against this person they're trying to end this person if he's planning to have wish fulfillment with you someone is trying to talk him out of it someone is very uh, uh skilled with the words that they use to manipulate people someone's very skilled at it okay a queen of wands could have gone through some type of ending she may have been someone that was trying to block this masculine from taking action to do something that he knew was right for him, okay? From working with you, being practical about a situation, whatever this is, yeah, okay? Dang. There's a king of wands 
Maybe someone wants your forgiveness in a situation, but they're realizing that they've missed out on this opportunity. So they're going to have to cut their loss and move on. Someone did something that caused you some type of injustice. So he's cutting his loss. There's no way this person can come to worship because they did something. They may not even be able to confess to you. So they're, they're going to have to cut their loss and move on. I don't think you hold any animosity in your heart. You may not even be aware of who this person is. Yeah, they know. They know that you know that they did something to you. So someone is going to have to move on. Like they're trying to think, how can I come towards this person, right? How can I do this? How can I do that? Someone is going to have to cut their loss if they want to be able to move on and thrive, uh, rebuild their lives and things like that. They're going to have to move on, okay? You may be on your own on this situation, collective. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cut their loss, move on with whatever they have left. Someone was supposed to start like a business with you, or maybe they intended to start a business with you. Uh, some type of entrepreneurship energy is in here because of the King of Wands and the Three of Wands. That, that's business minded, being commercially successful, business savvy, having foresight, just things like that. Very successful. This is what someone was supposed to have with you, um, but they partner up with the wrong person. They expected some type of investment into a feminine energy to go in the right direction, but they found out that someone was not skilled as they should have been. You were the skilled one, but they did something that caused some type of imbalance to you, and now they are going through some type of imbalance. This is like, I don't know, this is some type of, I don't know, the skills being even out, basically being balanced out, okay? This is the skills being balanced. Now, this man absolutely martyred himself. He hung himself, basically, and he's going to have to move on, just like I said. He's going to have to move on. This contract is void. It is over. Someone may be upset with his family, friends, colleagues, the rest of the Covens, whatever this is. I don't know if this is a Coven. I'm just saying. But it has like a cool like mentality to it. If a whole group of people are, go are getting together to block two people from coming together and it's more than likely for finances and things like that and they're trying to hold on to your finances what does not belong to them you have some type of good news coming in about abundance and these people have been interfering with that this king of wands here there's something he's going to have to be mindful of that he's done or he may be living in some type of fear because him coming to you there is an ulterior motive he's being sent by these people or maybe this is someone that was working with these people but no, no no longer wants to work with them. So he's coming towards you to ask you for forgiveness, but he's not sure if you're going to accept this offer. I don't think you are. This contract is over. This is something that's void. You and this person cannot work together. You cannot work together, okay? Listen, I kid you not. On my Oracle deck, there's a card that says, on your own, it, it's time to take some time. Uh, it's time to take some alone time or be single to get a new perspective. Spiritual retreat. Yeah, yeah. You and this person cannot work together. Whatever ascension they're going through, they're gonna have to go through that alone. Uh, kudos to them for waking up. But you and this person are not working together. All of these people are going through some type of ending because this was a spiritual contract that they interfered with and so the most high may be handing out whoopings to these people okay this was a spiritual contract yeah this is the absolute truth this was a spiritual contract that they interfered with um and i don't even think you as a feminine energy was seeing this masculine as a counterpart initially but someone got really desperate behind the scenes because they saw this person as very abundant. This could be someone that's very business savvy, was successful at one point, but invested in the wrong thing, committed. They may have gotten together and committed some type of fraud in the legal system, and it's coming back to bite him really bad. There's a queen of wands behind the scenes that was possibly working with this man. Something is going on with her. She could be ill, may have ended up in some type of accident or something like that. Someone was very stern, determined to come towards you, Empress, to cause you some type of ending, cause you some type of imbalance and some type of justice as far as the most high doing something. It was like immediate effect. I'm going to the Empress to pick a fight with them, to cause them problems. And the most high said, I think not. Down. Someone went, yeah. Oh, 
as soon as I sit down, this card, when I split the deck, this is what's, what was shown. Someone is going through an ending, and I don't think they will, they will be able to recover from this. Dang. I don't think she's going to be able to recover from whatever she's going through. Someone could be in the, in the hospital. Like, she was very, like, just, I don't know what kind of hatefulness this is. This is, like, some, I don't know what this is. But someone has a lot of animosity. Someone's very vain, like just surface level material. Nothing is beneath the surface, nothing. And she was headed towards you to cause you an ending, but it's not happening. Okay, death in the reverse. It's not happening. She's not having a new beginning. Whatever she was trying to force with this masculine, he don't want it because he has seen something about her that repulses him. He's repulsed by her. Because someone is coming up as very wicked, like very malicious, cold-hearted, cold-blooded. And all she cares about is looking good, having money. She don't care how she gets it, who she has to use. And someone saw her for who she is, a Jizzy Bell, gold digger. She took his money when he's in need. He, this is all she was there for, to take from him. All he did was give, 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 give. And all she did was take, 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 take. What what did Bruno Mars say? Take, 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 but you never give. Yeah, this is her. All she did. She was like a beggar. Please, sir. Can I have some more? More? Yeah. And he may have cut something out, stopped giving to her. He said, oh, you love me? Yes, I love you. You love me? Yes, I love you, honey. You're my baby. You're my sweetheart. You and I are twin flames. We're meant to be. We're so met. He said, oh, really? Okay, we'll see. In his mind, he didn't tell her we'll see. In his mind, he said, we'll see. And he's, I think he stopped giving her money. She's been wanting someone to shut up. Maybe a terror reader like myself that has been telling the truth. She's been wanting him to shut up. Wanting you terror readers to shut up because you exposed something to this masculine that he actually did. He may have stopped giving this woman some money. So now the, the love is not loving. He said, oh, there's mother sucker here. You didn't love me. You were just here as an opportunist. You were just here for, for the money. He stopped giving someone some money. He stopped. He's keeping his distance from her. He's keeping his distance from her. He's protecting his wealth. The nine of wands has to do with securing what's yours, your finances, your assets, protecting your assets, right? Being vigilant defensive and things like that towards someone that's been exposed to you, someone you're not sure of, a group of people, a person, place, or thing. You're protecting yourself, basically. So he's been taking action to protect his wealth, his asset, his money from her. And she got pissed off about that. So that may be why she was planning to come towards someone to, to pick a fight with you because you're exposing too much. You know, these we terror readers, people don't take us serious. They said we're just making up stories. And again, until you know something resonates and it's a prophecy comes through and someone takes action based off of what we say, and then there's problems. There is problem. He absolutely took charge of his life. He said, I'm not giving you another penny, Jizzy Bell. I'm not giving you another dime until I can figure out what the heck is going on. And this was her. <laughs> Ooh. it went from the power of love to i don't f with you yeah she, she lost her mind she has lost her mind i'm telling you she is hurt hurt she wants some money she said you got some money you haven't given me some money in a long time I haven't gotten any money from you in a long time. She was trying to hold on desperately. Desperately. That man said, um, mm -mm. And he he didn't say I'm testing you. Of course, when you're testing someone, you're not you're not gonna tell them you're testing them. You're just gonna start doing stuff. I'm telling you, see this here? This man is protecting his assets. She was there to do nothing but steal and destroy his life yeah 
nothing but destruction. She was helping this man hang himself. She gave him the rope. She said, no, 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 honey. You're not, we're not doing what you, it is not what you think it is, okay? I'm just going to braid it. You know, I'm going to fit it around your neck and we're going to braid it, you know, add some knots and stuff and just attach it to the ceiling fan or the tree or something. And then we're just going to test it to see how long. Girl, she was, she helped this man martyr himself. Someone is very skilled with words and manipulations. Very skilled, very charismatic. Very, oh yeah, charisma. Very charismatic. Very charismatic. Not loving, but very charismatic. She knows how to use that trait of hers to charm men. She said, we are twin flames. We go back past lifetimes. I know this is your karmic that you've been battling for many lifetimes. And she's been blocking your destiny. Every time you get this close to it, she comes in and it becomes this. It becomes this. You don't even feel like working anymore. You don't feel like doing anything anymore. Yeah, she comes in and causes a still mid every lifetime. And like an idiot, you're just there, you're just there following her. Is it if that's my empress? Don't got no, no none of the qualities of an empress, but because she looked good on the outside, if that's my empress. Here's my empress. Everybody meet my empress. Have you met my empress? This is my empress. Have you met my empress? This is my empress. He said, yeah, this is your empress blocking your destiny, causing you still mates, and you don't even know it. And that's the truth that you needed to hear so you can move the heck on because you're still holding on to some type of toxic belief or memory that you have with this woman. And she don't have no fun memories of you. The only thing she does is sit, behind, sit, back, sit back behind the scenes and laugh at you like this move on. He really thinks I give two SHIT about him. I don't give two hits about you, but your money is good. So I'm going to keep telling you I love you. So now you're trying to take charge of your life and move on. Right. You're now investing into yourself. I told you you're taking charge of your life and trying to move on. Right. And this is you, sir. This is you. This is you. This is a lesson you had to learn the hard way. This is a lesson you had to learn the hard way. You want to take your commitment to someone else. But whoever you're coming towards, they don't want nothing to do with that. Because you're not you yet. Nah, that contract is void this lifetime with whoever you're coming to worst. Yeah. Is this, you're choosing someone else now? Mm, nah. If you're trying to come to worst on Earth Angel, nope. We'll start over brand new somewhere else. Okay, dear. Yes, because Source is protecting someone and giving them a new offer. Somewhere else, uh, someone of high honor. Okay. And they're going to meet in divine timing. This is someone this earth angel has a soul contract with as well. You flopped. So someone is about to bop. He said, yes. 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 I get an empress. I get an earth angel. I get an empress. I get a star seed. He's dancing his. I'm telling you, he is dancing his behind, behind the scenes. He's dancing. He's ready for his star seed. He said, what? Someone rejected a star seed? I got to see this mother effort here. What's the dumb mother effort that, that rejected a star seed? And then they see you and say, oh, I see why. You're into your looks. He's good looking too, but he's not into his looks. He's into his mind, you know, substance. Mm -hmm. His mind. He's into his mind. Being innovative. Whoever you are getting with collector is very savvy. Someone's very intellectual, just as creative as you. Always thinking up of new ideas on ways to make money and help people. Someone is like a, a, a philanthropist, just like yourself, naturally. And you're not doing your work for money. You're doing it for fulfillment and you're doing it because it's helping other people. This is what's about to take place. You two are going to be partnering up. And, and nurturing your new beginning together, okay? I'm telling you, nurturing your new beginning together, manifesting together. Uh-huh, new beginning. I'm telling you, I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. 
and it's leading to the Ten of Pentacles for the both of you and the Ace of Pentacles. You see right here, you two coming together, Ace of Pentacles. Because you two, there's a reality you're supposed to manifest, manifest together, right? And it's not coming together until the two of you come together. Okay? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Some of you, your twin flame is trying to heal behind the scenes. So you will be ending up with this mother sucker after the Jersey Bell has done them a number, done a number on them. That's when they're coming back to say, I've healed now. I've done the work. You don't have to be afraid of me anymore. So I, I was never afraid of you. I just wasn't about to put up with your nonsense. Okay. I just was not about to put up with your nonsense. Someone is going through some type of ending. I'm telling you this masculine here. He's going through something. Whoever was doing him something as well is going through karma. She done lost a whole lot. And she's going to have to find the strength to keep moving forward. I'm telling you, she's going to have to find the strength to move forward. But, oh, there goes that queen of wands. A sister is going through it behind the scenes. This sister wanted to fight. Some, oh, I'm telling you. She wanted to fight you for an emperor. And this emperor is going through an ending himself. Going through some type of rebirth. That woman wanted to fight you for a man. We don't fight for men, collective. We do not fight for men. That's beneath us. We don't care how much money he has. We are not fighting for you. Okay? Yeah. We're too focused on our pentacles to be fighting for you. Fight for you where? Huh? Mm hmm I'm telling you. Yeah, he's going through some type man. This man is confused. He's like, I didn't see what they were doing. I didn't realize they were manipulating me. Where's your mind? Your brain belongs to you. You can't come to someone and tell them you were being manipulated. That's why you took some type of action against them and it led to an ending for you. He feels stuck. Someone feels stuck. He can't move this way. He can't move this way. He can't move forward, backward. He just feels stuck. He can't see straight. Trying to get trying to uh, get a hold of his emotions. And so he said, that was my twin fling. That was my soulmate. Oh, my gosh. Pissed up. He didn't see that they were doing a whole ritual on him. While he was betraying his twin fling, they were doing a number on him. And someone is being looked into. Whoever you are, sir, you are being looked into. There's something you did. Oh, yeah. You are being looked, looked into. This contract is absolutely over. You have bigger fish to fry than a twin flame connection at this point. You have bigger fish to fry. You're trying, he's trying to, that's what he's trying to do. So he's keeping his distance from them now. He wants to come towards you to cause you a stalemate. What he's coming in to do is butter you up like you're a Thanksgiving turkey. He's coming in to butter you up because he has issues going on. He's been, someone is under some type of investigation by the law. He's being watched either by the FBI, CIA, something IA. Someone is watching this man. This could be like a corrupt businessman. Someone is being investigated. He's being looked into. Being looked into. Someone has been tempering with people work, people income, people resources, stealing something like that. I don't know what the heck this is. Someone is a thief. A common thief. Yeah. I hope you didn't steal from a police officer. I hope you didn't steal from someone in law enforcement because you will be real dumb to be doing that now. You, and this is all divinely orchestrated, by the way. Thor said, we're going to let them come after this one right here. They don't stole from everybody else. We're going to let them come after this one. Mm, and they made a mistake. They fell for it. They said, ah. Uh, Someone told him, you sure? That's a police officer. That's an FBI agent. You sure you want to go do that? We've done this a thousand of times. They went for it. Eh? They thought about it. I'm telling you, they were thinking about it. Are you sure we want to do this? We've never went after someone like this before. You sure you want to do this? Okay. 
They, they went and snuck a police officer, someone high ranking. Oh yeah, I just saw that freaking temperance energy. Someone high ranking, they snuck him, snuck her. Uh, it came back to bite them. And so you know you don't act up, right? You don't fuck up, right? Okay. Ooh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm telling you, I knew this sucker was going to come out. That Queen of Wands right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew she was going to come out. That sister was eager to come to work. She just said, I'm going to go to her house. How do you know where she lives? That you're going to her house? I'm going for it. I'm going to go teach her a lesson. These be the people that come to work, the earth angel to beat your behind and get their behind handed to them. You tear their low behind up and then you help them up, up the ground, dust them off real quick. Are you okay? Uh huh. You're okay? Good. We don't need to call the police to take you to the hospital, the ambulance, do we? No. Okay. Well, you have a blessed day now, okay? Yeah. Okay, now. Have a blessed day, Linda. Have a blessed day, Linda. Baby, I remember when I was, what, 21? What was it, 21, 22? Let me put a little bit of my business out there. Is this little girl, because I had kids when I was very young. I was, what, 17 when I had my first baby. Baby daddy was a little bit of piece of work. I don't have nothing against him. I hope he's doing well. I hope he's doing well. Anyways, he was young-minded. Older than me, but young-minded. He was dating this little girl, this helper here. And while he was dating her, he thought he was on top of the world, Sally. And he wasn't helping, doing nothing for the kids. And I called to ask him for something, and she answered the phone and decided to be disrespectful. I told her, when I see you, it's on. Okay. So I'm very patient. I'm very patient. My patience, I have a lifelong patience. So if I say I'm going to get to you, oh, I'm going to get to you. I don't care if, if it's 50 years from now, I'm going to get to you. So, mind you, we're on the bus, catching the bus to go back and forth, dropping kids up to daycare, catch two, three bu buses to get to work. Oh, honey, I've been through the ringer, but it's good because I have experienced life. I have experienced experience life. I'm not out here walking like an airhead, don't know nothing. Anyways, I told her, when I see you, it's on. Just so happened she used to catch the Metro bus, the Metro link. He used to drop her up, will drive right past us to take her to the Metro link. I said, okay. So one day, my prayers were answered. Folks, I was young at this time. Now I don't really care about stuff like this. My prayers were answered. I wasn't fighting her because of him. I was fighting her because she was disrespectful. And I was stressed out at the time taking care of two young kids at what? 21 with no help. Oh, baby, you don't push the wrong button with the wrong mother sucker. And I'm African. Mm -hmm. We don't have to chill once we get a hold of you. Oh, we're going to dust you real good and then get you up and clean you. So anyways, I get to the mental lane. Who's sitting there? Pretty young thing. I say, okay. I looked at her. She said, I said, okay, I walk. I got my behind up. She got her behind up. We met at a spot right there, right before the train. And we, honey, when I said we got into it, it took, took five people plus the baby daddy to get me off of her. And after that day, when she would see me, oh, hi, Cynthia. Oh, look at that. You know my name now. Oh, look at you. You're so respectful. Mm-hmm. I've had my young days, folks. I've had my young days. And it wasn't pretty. It was not pretty. So anyways, but now I'm in this energy. Hi, folks. How you doing? I'm here now. <laughs> I've had my moments in life. Anyways. So let's get back to this read. This is one of these characters. They see you. You're in this energy. And they say, oh. I'm going to go put her in her place. She don't know her place. She don't know who she's fooling with. She's not about to mess with my bag. Girl, you see a man that's a bag and you think that's a flex? Okay. Anyways, this woman was coming towards you. Something happened and this is her. She's stuck. Someone is stuck. She can't come towards you. 
someone may be in the hospital, someone is being exposed, someone is being talked about, all kinds of stuff. It's an embarrassment. Yeah, that's the truth. This woman is being talked about like a rag dog. She wants to be seen as this, but this is her. This is her. She's trapped. He's trapped. There's an emperor that's trapped with this woman. He can't get away. There's one of those situations that blink twice if you need help, sir. And he's there just blinking away and no one is listening. No one's paying attention. It said blink twice. He's like, I've been blinking for freaking two years. <laughs> I've been blinking for two years, mother suckers. <laughs> Help me. Is it? Oh, oh, we didn't know. Sorry. I mean, you you blink naturally. We, we thought you were going to blink real quick. Blink, blink. Not blink. Blink. No, we needed you to blink, blink. Is that? What? <laughs> he's tired. He's that one out. But he feels stuck with her. This man is toxic as can be. He's a liar. They, they, they belong together. They belong together. Someone's very greedy. They belong together. Absolutely. She, I don't know if they even date. He works, he works with these women behind the scenes. Or uh, these could be different people with different motives for you. Okay. But this one here ain't doing too well. She's trying to force a relationship with someone that don't want her. She's trying to force it. Oh, that's the truth. She's trying to force a relationship with someone that does not want her. She goes to some type of practitioner and she does some type of witchcraft behind the scenes. Someone may have an altar. A masculine may have an altar. An emperor has an altar. He does some type of sorcery behind the scenes. Man. <laughs> this woman here, she does magic dark magic she sends a whole lot of energy that you're gonna be with me yeah she was coming towards you oh she was coming towards you now what happened on her way to us what had happened i'm telling you she was coming she said i'm going for it i'm going for it oh yeah she didn't know what she was coming for this. She, she didn't know what was what was going to happen. Dang. She thought she was about to just come in and do you a number. She was going to come in and beat your behind, make a fool out of you, drag you out into the street and say, I told you to stay away from my man. And you're like, what the heck is your man? Nah, Linda, that's not how it was going to go. You was going to get your behind handed to you. So you all be underestimating these star seeds out here. Ah, uh, look at that. This was what this is what happened. Just like I said, someone ain't doing too well. Oh, she's not doing too well. May have transitioned. She goes to practitioner. Didn't I say that? She and the practitioner are not doing too well. She and the practitioner are not doing too well. Not well at all. At all. At all. Not doing too well. Okay. Mm. The rituals are not working. They're backfiring immediately on when they are when they outer those words. It's coming right back to them. It's just that a pionchu, a pionchu, a pionchu. They say, how long are we gonna keep doing this? You do know that you're just sending energy to yourself, right? Right? Okay, okay, okay. You still wanna keep going? She didn't realize this woman took action to come towards someone not knowing. She was headed for disaster. She thought in her mind she had it all figured out. She said, I'm going to go in. She's an earth angel. They don't fight. Uh, lies. Lies. I don't know what earth angel you're talking about, but <laughs> lies. <laughs> lies. <laughs> we don't start the fight, but we finish it. She said, I'm going to go in and I'm going to rough her up real good. She, she was probably, She's possibly one of the ones that will bring her friends with her. They don't care what time of the day, what's going on, the weather, whatever. They're coming, they're coming to take care of business. The source said, if you don't turn back, they warn her that don't do this. 
She said, I'm going for it. I'm sick of this mother effort calling you all types of bees and stuff behind the scenes. She came in, she, she, she got on her little bike, her little motorcycle. Someone's having transportation issues and things. And she still wanted to come towards you. She said, I don't care how I get to her. If I got to catch an Uber, she didn't have no money for the Uber. Because remember, the masculine is not giving her money anymore. She don't lost all of her money. She's going through a rough patch. I don't care if I have to walk to her, catch an Uber, catch a lift, a taxi cab, ride a bike. Mm, really? Okay. I don't know if she was riding her bike and the car just a boom. I don't know if she was in the car and it's just a lot. She lost control. Mm. I remember I had a dream a couple of months ago. Someone got in a car accident. Maybe this is her. She and the practitioner, again, they're not doing too well. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep it. Lord said, I didn't tell you to get involved in that. We've been told you to, to stop messing with this person because they're not paying you no mind. You can't have your destiny. It does not belong to you. And you still keep trying to force your way into their energy and take what does not belong to you. So, yeah, now you lay down. Now you lay your soul down to sleep. And you're going to be sleeping for good, good. Come on on back. Come on on back. The door is open. Come on on back. The gates are wide open to you, Sally. Laying down. Come on on back. Oh, and you know those spiritual gifts that you have? Yeah. We're going to need those back. Be active it. Deactivate. Deactivate. Oh, she didn't see this coming. You have multiple people coming after you. And all of them, source is taking turns, causing them endings. This was her turn. This was her turn. The high priestess, the practitioner, this was their turn. Who's next? Yay. Who is next? Who is next? Hmm? Eeny, meeny, money, more. Catch a karmic by the tail. And if you let that karmic go, karma. Ooh. Okay. Let me see. I hope I didn't miss anything here. Just making sure I do a full recap. Baby, it ain't looking good for these folks. Someone's having a hard knock life. It's a bad day. It's a bad week. It's a bad. It's going to be a long couple of years. Not even a couple of years. The rest of this life is going to be hard for these folks. We've been warning them, right, collective, to leave us alone. What do they do? They keep coming. We're protected. We told them we're blessed and we're highly favored by the Most High. We told them to leave us alone. And she said, I'm going to go in. I'm going to teach this, teach this uh, uh, earth angel. A lesson. She was coming to fight you. People have turned against her, and now she wants to bring you the, bring you the sauce. She want to bring you the problems. She didn't know. She didn't know. Oh, that's a different kind of earth angel. Oh, no, 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 no. Our earth angels are like this. We don't pick fights, but baby girl, our ancestors told us you finish it. They started, you finish it. And that's what we do. That's part of our soul contract. <laughs> to finish the fight. And we be knowing exactly what you're planning to do. And we just sit back and watch you come on down from Cormac Vale. Just a galloping like a horse. <laughs> Out of breath and everything. We'll let you catch your breath when you come. We'll let you catch your breath. Say, Sally, Linda, you want to sit down first? Catch your breath before we start? Yeah. Give me. Five minutes, let me catch my breath. And then I'm going to hand you this ass whooping. Oh, really? Okay. Five minutes before they even know it, Sally Linda is on the ground yelling on a stretcher to the hospital or somewhere else. Anyways, collective. Linda and Sally, the practitioner and the client, are not doing too well. The energy has ricocheted right back to them. As soon as they order, they order that mess. Mm -mm. So I said, right, right back to you. I said, let me try again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me try again. 
BS. Right back. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. I have done this a thousand times. Let me try again. This mother sucker cannot be stronger than me. There is no way. BS. Right back. Oh, dang. We did it three times. We are effed up. And this is them. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my sword to keep. That's the thing of a sword. Swords is always patient with us. Even when you F up, they will still welcome you to the spirit realm. But when you get there, guess where you're going? To sleep. To sleep. You say, go to sleep. We're not even going to ask you if you want to go to sleep this time. You go to sleep. When you wake up, you go to the spiritual hospital, spiritual clinic, so they can nurture you. And hopefully you can remember what it means to be a genuine soul. And when you come out of there, we're going to re-educate you on how to be a genuine soul. Okay? And then you try again, uh, Linda and Sally, at this incarnation thing. I'm going to get one more card, folks. Oh, these two. Okay. Okay. They go, okay. Uh, Linda and Sally were in fantasy land thinking they were going to come and do you something. You've been protected the whole time. They don't know you're a brave soul. And you're ready to face up of anything. You're there on site whenever you want to. Whenever you want it. Mm -hmm. You said whenever, wherever, however. We are with that. Okay? I don't know why some of these earth angels be out here acting like they don't throw hands. Yeah, you, yes, you do. You throw physical and spiritual hands. People be fighting in the spirit realms and things. Mm -hmm. Fantasy land. <laughs> Make sure everyone involved is being realistic and on the same page. You Corbix, this is for you. <laughs> Whoo! <It's> okay. <laughs> Fantasy land. Make sure everyone involved is being realistic and on the same page. No illusions. <laughs> no more illusions. <laughs> Whoo! You all need to have that meeting that you've been planning to have. And get on the same page that you are ready to resolve this matter because it's not going to be ending well for you all. And make sure everyone is on the same page. And if they don't want to get on the same page with you, you may want to exile them. Tell them they got to leave because you're done. All the bike fire, all the endings, the towers, tell them you're done. You can't do no more. Okay? Okay. Oh. <sighs> It said, trust your journey, trust the way your life unfolds, and trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. I am protected. I said it. As always, always protected. Always. Okay. Real promise. Release the chains of the past and dance to the rhythm of possibility. Free to move. Yes, indeed. Free to move. Free to be. Yeah, free to move. Look at that. You're free to move on with your life. Not a karma can do a thing to you. 777 is the number of blessings, luck, spiritual uh, support from the spirit realm, the angels, and things like that. Honey, they favor you. If you're seeing this number 77 alive, the angels favor you. They see you like your baby. They're letting you know well, we're here. We're here. We're waiting for someone to bust a move. Sally and Linda said they were going for it. And what happened? They didn't see this coming, right? Bump. Ba -ba -bum, bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. These people are planning another ritual. Another ritual. And it's not gonna end well. There's a there's a there's an emperor in here that does rituals. Like I don't know if he's the one they go to for advice and things like that. Something is about to happen to him too. 
Oh, hush, Cynthia, hush. Okay, sorry, folks. Anyway, 77, it is time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. I am brave. Some of your boldness has to do with you walking away from toxicity, leaving the COVID behind, leaving the coat behind. And that is your second chance at life. If you stay with these folks, your ending is not going to be pretty. Some of these people are about to be begging for change on the streets. And that's how bad it's about to be. Okay? And whoever you've been coming after, honey, ain't nothing you all can do to this person, to these earth angels. They're protected. I don't know how many times we got to tell you. We are protected. We have a purpose. And we're going to fulfill those purposes. On time. Because the most high time is like no author. Is there tick tock, tick tock, tick tock? Yeah, it is time for Mary Ann to fulfill her purpose. Oh, Sally and Linda still trying to block them? Move. Yep, it's time. Okay. Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now. Oh, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe.